Today we're going to be looking at all the coolest, weirdest, and most cursed texture packs that Minecraft has to offer. We're going to be going from ones that make Minecraft look like literal, real life, to ones that just make you go, ugh. And with that, please subscribe as it helps me out a ton. And let's get started with the first texture pack, which is one that you've probably all heard of before. It is animations. I also forgot to mention that I will have a very special thing to show you guys at the end, so make sure you stick around till the end to find out, or just skip there, I don't really care, but there's a very special thing there. Thanks, and let's continue with the video. So the first one is obviously going to be Fresh LX. It's an amazingly dumb texture pack, everyone's seen it, and it gives a lot of mobs, maybe even all of them, a completely overhauled animation. As you can see with this pillager, if he sees a villager over there like that one, he actually has a running animation, not just the Minecraft quick legs or a vindicator if I place him down. You can see that when he sees a villager, he raises his axe instead of just having it out in front of him, and the iron golem kind of like trundles over to him and obliterates him. But yeah, that's Fresh LX. So let's go into the end and check out the Endermen and see if the Ender Dragon has a custom animation. So as you can see, the Endermen do have custom animations when they're walking. Like you can see, they kind of like lean forward a little bit and walk more naturally. But however, as you can see, the Dragon does not have any custom animation. So that's Fresh LX. Let's move on to the next texture pack. So this one's called Fast Better Grass by Fabulously Optimized. You can see that it has the grass spill over the side of the block so it's a complete side. So here's all the blocks it actually applies to. As you can see, it makes them look pretty smooth and connected. So let's do a comparison. Here's with it on, and here is it off. Again, let's do a comparison with these. Here's it off, and here it is on. So if you think this is cool, again, subscribe helps me out a lot. But let's move on to the next texture pack. And this is Default HD by BAUM64, so Baum64 maybe. And it looks pretty normal at first, just oversaturated, until you look closely at everything. You can see that every single block, if I use a spyglass here, is basically just that block with the normal pixels and a billion little pixels inside it. So I think it's 128x, so therefore it's 16. So it's 16 by 16 per pixel of a normal block. It evens with like with mobs, as you can see the cows. So it's a very similar feel, it's just different enough where you notice. Sadly, it doesn't seem to have done it to lava. The stone's much, much more noticeable as it gives a lot of blocks a depth like feel. See if I check out a few blocks like these and a diamond ore, you can see that they look pretty normal. It just looks like they have a little bit of depth and curvature. And here's a village which has more blocks for us to look at and from now on I will be playing in a server Where I can see a lot more blocks. So yeah, next texture pack So the next texture pack that we're going to be doing is bare bones by robot pants kind of a weird name But this is a very iconic pack. Let's just turn it on So this is the bare bones pack and it aims to recreate essentially what you see in the minecraft trailer so it's a very simplified simple version of minecraft with more highlights, more saturation, more color, and it's supposed to just remake the Mi way the Minecraft trailer looks. It's super cool, looks very good. There's a lot of work that's gone into this. I don't see a single block that he's forgotten, except for maybe that glass there. Oh well. Anyway, so super in detail texture pack. I think it does a really good job of remake of remaking how the Minecraft trailers look, but that's this pack. Let's move on to the next texture pack. So we've been looking at a lot of packs that aim to make the game feel and look completely different, but in a way that makes them simpler or look like the game, just slightly higher resolution with a ton more detail. Now it's time for a pack that's completely different. This pack is Pixly by Elystre, and it aims to make Minecraft look realistic. So here's the pack. You can see that it looks similar to normal Minecraft, except there's a lot more detail. It tries to keep the same feel of Minecraft, while making it look a lot more realistic. This pack is like only 60% done according to his website, so he's still working on it, but ooh, let's not go to that creeper, but it's pretty cool and has a lot of detail and I really enjoy it. It's a really cool pack and it basically is a lot like the default HD that I showed earlier, 
but it does change some blocks and instead of just making them it like normal but more detailed I think it actually adds a lot to it too so this is a pretty cool pack there's a lot of detail so let's move on to the next pack so this is one of my favorite texture packs it's called ROTR blocks also by Illustray and this one completely revamps the way that Minecraft look I think it makes Minecraft look amazing just look at the grass look at everything the cobblestone looks great pistons look great everything just looks super high res this is a personal favorite of mine I think even though Patrick's is more famous I think it looks nicer than Patrick's I know that'll get a lot of people mad but that's just the way I think I think the diamonds look amazing I just think everything about this pack looks really good I even think that the sand looks good and that's actually really hard I've seen a lot of texture packs fail to make sand and clay and gravel look good and I also love the way that the nether looks and going in the complete opposite direction the next pack is called MS painted by Stray Day so as you can probably see this pack was meant to make it look like Minecraft graphics were made in Microsoft paint it actually looks pretty good the weapons look sick and everything else looks like it was actually made in Microsoft Paint. I don't know if he actually made it here, but it sure looks like it. This is a super cool texture pack. Now let's move on to the final. So you might be thinking, oh, this is just ROTR blocks again, but that's what it is. Now the cool thing is when I turn on Kappa shaders, you can see that everything or almost everything is actually 3D D, I guess, I don't know. Minecraft 3D, but all the blocks have depth to them. This is so cool. I love it, and I'm going to show you a bunch of cool things about it. Again, this is Kappa shaders plus ROTR blocks. You have to enable something called Lumi Tricks or something like that. Lighting, highly recommend checking it out. I have a 3060 and a decent CPU, so you do need a quite a bit of processing power to actually make this work. But yeah, the trial chambers look absolutely mind blowing. Let's look at some other stuff. Okay, so here are the bricks. Absolutely crazy. If you want to know what this is, this is the redesigned storage system that me and Scoob are making. The bricks look insane. The lanterns look absolutely bonkers. And I love the way that the sea lanterns and these oak planks look together. It looks bonkers. The mud bricks also look absolutely crazy. I love that if you look closely, you can see the mud in between them. And here's the wood. The wood looks completely, like everything else, bonkers. Uh, the acacia doesn't have the 3D effect. I don't know why. It's weird. But everything else looks bonkers. I love the textured veins on the roots, or whatever they're called. And then there's a the cobblestone. Some other stuff. There's a redstone block. It's super cool and eroded. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's check out some other things. Okay, so here is sand, and I'm also going to show you the end. So sand looks bonkers. Snow is a similar texture to sand, so I'm not going to show you that. And the end portal frames also look bonkers. So let's go to the end. So we're seeing that cool endstone texture. Now let's go check out an ancient city and end the video. Okay, so here's an end city. You can see, again, lots of detail. Thank you guys all so much for watching to the end. I told you there'd be something special here. Please subscribe as it helps me out a ton, and I will see you guys in the next one. See you there. Please subscribe. Thank you.